How's it going everybody? You're watching Denable Tech. So as you know, Apple doesn't officially allow us to lock individual apps on our iPhone or on our iPad with a passcode. So let's say every time I open Instagram or messages or photos, it will have a pop-up saying, put your passcode to access that app. This is a feature that we've always wanted for so long and now I have finally found a way, I have found a workaround that you can actually have that, you can actually enable that feature. The best part, you only need an, an iOS device running iOS 12 or later, so it doesn't even need to be so updated, so iOS 12 or later. And even better, we don't need to download absolutely anything, be jailbroken or anything like that because everything we're going to do is within the settings app. So it's super easy. Let's go ahead and begin and let me show you how to do it. Okay, so first thing, we're gonna open the settings app, as I mentioned, and then we're gonna scroll down to screen time. That's the feature we're gonna use to individually lock apps. So open screen time, then turn on screen time, and then continue. And then this is my iPhone, so not my child's phone, this is my iPhone. And then we're gonna scroll down a bit and use screen time passcode. We're gonna need to set the passcode we're gonna need uh, in order to access those apps we're gonna lock, okay? So use screen time passcode. So set uh, screen time passcode, like whatever. So it's four digits. So I'm just created one randomly. And now this is where the magic happens. We're gonna go here for app limits. So we're gonna set time limits for apps, okay? We're gonna, I'm gonna explain that as I go. So click on app limits and then add a limit. All right, and now we're gonna select the apps that we actually want to lock, to individually lock. So let's go for social media, for example, let's select, for example, Instagram, Snapchat, and then, uh, yeah, that's about it. And then let's say for creativity right here, I'm gonna enable photos and YouTube studio because I don't want anyone messing around with that, okay? So next, so I have selected four apps, those are the apps right here. And then uh, I'm gonna select a time limit. So I'm gonna select as, as, as low as possible. So for example, one minute. That means that every single day, because I have set here for every day, okay, at, top, at, at, at the top here. So every single day, my phone will only allow me to use those apps without putting a passcode for one minute. After that minute, so let's say every time I wake up, I use them for a minute and that's it. They're, they're locked now. That means that every time I open the app from now on, uh, they will ask for that passcode that we have created. So how cool is that? So one minute, um, block at end of limit. Of course, this has to be on. So a after that minute, it's gonna block my limit. So then I have to put my passcode. That's what we want. So hit add right here. So then I have it right here, one minute, every day for those four apps, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube Studio, and Photos. It's on already. So as you guys can see, uh, my Photos app right here, look at that icon. It has the, that screen time on icon, and it is grayed out, meaning that I can't use it anymore unless I put my passcode. Same story with Instagram, same story with YouTube Studio, and then Snapchat is buried somewhere around there, so it doesn't matter, but it's the same story, okay? So let's check it out. So if I open, for example, Instagram right here, it already tells me you've reached your limit on Instagram. So then I can say, if I say, okay, it's gonna come back, okay? So if I say, ask for more time, then I can have another minute or I can enter my screen time passcode. And right here, this is the feature. So even if let's say a friend, a girlfriend, a wife, a husband has that uh, first screen passcode, they may not have this one. You can set two different passcodes. So that's super cool, okay? So then uh, enter screen time passcode. And then I'm gonna type that one that we used before. And as you can see, uh, I can allow for 15 minutes, for an hour or all day. This is up to you, you do what you want. Let's say for 15 minutes. So then it's gonna flip it and then I can go ahead and use Instagram normally. So then that's how it works, guys. It's super cool, same story for any other app that you have allowed. That's how it works, it's awesome. A few more important things before we wrap it up. Unfortunately, you cannot lock the phone app. That's the only application you cannot lock at all. Maybe for security reasons or something like that, we can't uh, passcode lock the phone app. That's the only one. Uh, you can actually lock right here if you want messages, uh, uh, FaceTime or anything like that. You can lock absolutely anything, but not the phone app. Uh, if, you wanna, if you wanna actually lock the message app, 
you have to come here to this always allowed and then disallow this because in theory messages are always on so they are always allowed so you cannot lock them but if you just remove them from here so if you just go ahead and tap here and remove then we can go ahead and do ex the exact same process of going to app limits and then locking messages as well just keep in mind that if you lock the message app you will not be able to send or receive iMessages when they are locked from this iPhone or from any other iPad or other device that is connected via iCloud with it, okay? It locks not only the phone, but it locks other uh, computers, other devices as well. So keep that in mind. And another thing that's the only down thing about this process is that while the phone, while the application is locked, so let's say YouTube Studio is locked right now, Instagram was locked. So while they are locked, you do not receive notifications, okay? So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a blast making it. It. I wanted to find a, pro a, a, a process, a tutorial for locking individual apps for so long and then now I have finally did it, I finally did it and I hope you guys can use it and enjoy it. So that's pretty much it and I'll see you guys in a couple days. Bye bye.